Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MTGO Traders. My name is Taryn. Let's play some Esper Vehicles in Amonkhet Standard. Alright guys, let's take this Esper Vehicles out one last time for another two rounds. Let's see what happens. Been doing some pretty good stuff. I will go first. Let's see. We got Spire of Industry, Spire of Industry, uh, and Scrap Heap. Two tool crafts and a spell queller. This is kind of an okay hand. Uh, the reason is because I can play a spire, spire, scrap heap, and be able to tap for mana. The bad thing is, if he kills my scrap heap, I'm out of luck. So, hmm. let's keep this as uh, kind of be like, hey, let's see if we can work out of this this dump. <laughs> work out of this bad hand. <laughs> I like taking bad hands. Like, you'll notice during my videos, I like taking specifically bad hands and then being able to play with them uh, because, okay, let's see, green-white. So we're kind of looking at, uh, what do you call it? Marvel? Is that what I'm thinking? <clears throat> I think it's Marvel, right, that it's green-white? I mean, you got Teamer. That's the real colors. Uh, hmm. I'm blanking on this deck. Oh, is it the servo? Let's see. Maybe the servo, um, what do you call it, deck? Oh my gosh. I can't remember what it's called. The servo anointed processions deck. There we go. <laughs> so, let's get out another toolcraft here. See if he's going to double block. You want to double block? Hey, that's fine with me. You're killing a scrap heap scrounger, so it's uh, it's going to come back because I've got a Thraben Inspector in my hand. So that's why I did that. So I feel perfectly fine with that choice. <laughs> what is this deck? Oh, another servo exposition. Exposi Exhibition. Exhibition. There you go. Had to think a minute for that. <laughs> All right. Let's do a Concealed Courtyard. Coming in tapped. Let's play out a Thraben Inspector. Create a Artifact. Yep. Yep. Going to attack out. He'll probably double block with one. That's fine. We'll get in for three damage. The thing about the servo deck here is it's definitely going to be one of those decks that's like, I can just play as many cards as I want because it's going to be anointed procession, and then I'll have a thousand blockers. So you kind of just want to keep that in mind whenever you're attacking with this this against this kind of deck. It's very aggressive. So the thing now is I can actually sacrifice this clue at the end of my turn because I have uh, the man at see winding constrictor. Both of Ajani. Gotcha. These guys are now going to be uh, three threes. Let's play out of Port Town. Hmm. Do I want to wait? Let's wait a turn. That way, when I can, when I attack and I have Archangel, Archangel Avison to be able to uh, bounce off of that. Probably another oath, oath of Gideon. Let's see, one more counters we place. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's have that happen because I'm assuming another oath of Ajani. Is going to come down. That's the thing with this deck is that uh, it very much goes wide. Vessel. Let's capture that. Ghostbusters. I feel like that's what the spell queller is. <laughs> All right. You can swing out. It's okay. I know you want to. All right. Let's see what happens. Yep. He 
probably knows I have an Archangel in my hand now. I'm not attacking the previous turn. That's fine, I'm still going to play it. So, if you've got a removal spell for uh, Archangel Avacyn, I mean, I've got six in the air right now. You're at nine health. Another oath. See, that's what I was expecting in the turn earlier. Let's see, five, ten, let's see. Sack a creature. Yeah, sing at me for ten. Yep, kills everybody. Kills his core ally as well. Let's see if I can get into. Uh, yeah, it creates two one one flyers. You're tapped out, so there's nothing really you can do. You just have to hit okay. But da -da 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 -da. okay. Yeah, that kills everyone. That should be game. Yeah, that's game. All right, let's go to sideboard. Hmm. Declaration Stone is the definite card to put in this deck for the matchup. Fumigate is also a good card to put in this matchup. Um, Authority of the Consoles is really great. Let's take out some Gideons. Uh, let's take out some Rebukes and a Scrouncher. I'm okay with that. Taking out the Gideons because they're too slow in this matchup. You definitely want to be able to uh, go wider and not uh, bigger. So, Gideon is great. It's just that Gideon just, he's too slow. Like, he just can die to a bunch of 1 1s, you know? So, I would hate to draw him out and be like, well, nothing happens. Four mana, two 2 drops, and authority of the consoles. I will keep that because this is going to be great for me. Especially since he went first. Declaration Stone, also a very good card. So let's get out Authority of the Consoles and pass turn. Consoles is so good in this matchup. Because while he's making his board state really large, I'm getting life. So it makes the uh, the gap of, of like overcoming my deck a lot harder. Let's see here. Want to get that out. Want to get out a Glory Bound. Initiate, pass turn. Yeah, boy. All right, it's cool. Let's see. Thinking you're gonna be creating some tokens here. Probably not. Okay. That is fine. Let's play this out since we don't have a three play really. We have a spell caller, but we need a blue man to begin with. So, let's get out a heart of Kieran. Let's uh, swing out. We're not gonna exert. We're just gonna swing for three. All right, one of the things that could have happened there is he could have uh, created two 1-1s one -ones and then blocked. So that would have been really bad. Uh, but luckily he did not do that. So let's see. Spire of Industry the following turn into Scrap Heap Scrounger. Crew the uh, Heart of Kieran with Scrap Heap. Swing out for 7. He goes to 10. I'm assuming he's going to play something this turn. Probably that Vessel or a 1-1. One -one. Or uh, the servos. But if he does that, then Declaration in Stone will definitely uh, take care of him. So that's why the uh, servo token deck isn't that great. It's just, uh, it just doesn't do enough. So let's go for a scrap heap here. What you got? <laughs> nope, nothing. Okay. Gonna crew. 
you may have a stasis snare. So that is something to keep in mind. Because that is flash removal. Yep. Swing it out for seven. Taking it to the face. What you got? And again, they come in tapped, so he can't uh, he can't block with them. <laughs> so, authority of the consoles is so good in this matchup. Fatal push. All right. No problem. Great card. That card's like what nine dollars now on paper. It's just insanity for an uncommon. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He's probably getting some. Let's see. Oath of Gideon. Going to create two one ones that come in tapped. <laughs> So, gonna always yield to that. Yep. So either I can keep up a spell queller for an oath of Ajani, uh, or I can just continue to play out uh, for my glory bound initiate. Let's keep up a spell queller because um, I'm. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine. I could do for ten, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack out. Just do nine. Go to five. What you got? Coming in tapped. I'm assuming an oath of a Johnny. Since that card is crazy, that card is crazy sauce. <clears throat> I could have just played out the glory bound and kept on swinging in, but oh, that's gonna make Declaration in Stone hurt a lot. Now it's an oath for Johnny. Or no, no, maybe you tapped wrong. Yeah, grab that. All right, so let's get out a uh, glory bound. Gonna declaration and stone all those guys, and then uh, swing out. Should be game. Yep. Good game, man. Good game. Let's do uh, one more round. One more round. Yeah, if you uh, if you can definitely decoration and stone their tokens, it's it is hilarious. <clears throat> definitely something that I, I recommend doing. <laughs> but uh, let's see what happens in this next match. This will probably be the last one. Watch me lose, then watch me nay nay. <laughs> if you guys were paying attention there, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I uh, would like to kind of go up against a control matchup, like a red blue control. I haven't even played against Marvel yet, so that's that's something to be said. Let's see what we got here. We got this, this, this. Courtyard. Hmm. I like this, but Toolcraft cannot. Uh, in I believe I cannot crew heart, or it won't let me crew heart. If there is that, if that is an actual thing that it won't let me do, let me know in the comments below. I'm on the draw too, so <clears throat> I like this a little bit better. Yep. What we got? Scrounger. Play out a toolcraft. Play out heart and then scrounger and then swing it for seven on turn three or four. Harness lightning or magma spray. Anytime I see red, I just assume removal. Let's get out another uh, concealed courtyard. Yeah, there's a harness lightning coming in. Yep. Coming in hot. Sounds good. All right, so let's, uh, you know, continue to use Scrounger. We have our concealed courtyard, so we can definitely get Scrounger back. So Magma Spray is the only thing we're really worried about now. This is Marvel, I believe. Mm 
Let's see. Why? Why couldn't I attack? Or did I hit, hit an extra button? Dang it! Dang it, Terran, on your misplay. You hit an extra button. You hit OK one too many times. Dang you! Thought Knot's here. Yeah, that happens. Probably gonna grab Cast Out. Or Gideon. That could be the pick. See, the thing I feel bad about is that you didn't get Cast Out, which is the removal spell that I'm about to use against you. So, I mean, of course, the good thing is that now Cast Out's out of my hand. Yeah, and I get a card. So let's crew. Swing out for four, like we were supposed to do the turn before. That may cost me the game. Because Marvel's always so close. But uh, grabbing that Thought Knot is a good thing. But Cast Out is the only other card in our deck that can handle... Let's see, Aether works. Okay. Playing it early. Okay. I really need cast out. So let's, uh. Let's get this out and see what we can do. Hmm. Bottom, bottom. Spell Queller is good. That's a good alternative. Um, probably should have played a Spire of Industry the turn earlier. Problem here is that once he gets a six mana, it's going to be all over. So I'm expecting a uh, Ulamog on this following turn. Or not Ulamog on this turn, but on my turn. So let's just see what happens. He would have been at 8, though. <laughs> so. Now that I know what I'm playing against, I can definitely sideboard against it appropriately. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Four cards in hand. Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Let's play out Spire of Industry. Enough for Spell Queller and a Glory Bound. Let's crew with Glory Bound here. Swing out for seven. Is he going to shoot anything? No? Okay. Drawing into some mana there. Brood Monitor. What is this? Create three. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, that's fine. I mean, you're still dead, I think. I couldn't catch. Couldn't have caught that with Spellqueller. Oh, you're, you're trying to get to three. I got you. That makes sense. Yeah, now you can uh, marble. Yep. Do you get Ulamog? Is that what's about to happen? Spin the windmill. Oh, nice. Get to catch that. Displacer is so threatening. That should be game, 
right there because I have uh, six in the air. He's tapped out. Nice. This is like an Eldrazi marble build. Very interesting. I like the idea with the Broodmother there. That's really cool. Let's play that out. Let's just play out with the Raven. And then, uh, oh. Then I'll just crew. And I'll swing out. And that's it. Six in the air. Yeah. All right, let's go to sideboard. Negate definitely needs to come in. Gideon definitely needs to come out. Dispossess comes in. Archangel goes out. Angel of Sanctions comes in. I want to say that's about it. Um, one of the things is that he's more of a uh, Eldrazi matchup. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of... One Glory Bound. One... One Glimmer. And kind of bring in... Two Declaration Stones. I like that idea a little bit better. Okay. Make the works marvel, you're going down. Let's see. Two mana in hand. We got Scrap Heap, Heart, and a Metallic Rebuke. I like this. Nice and aggressive. Because, again, it's going to take him a while to get to where he needs to be. Let's see what we got. Three mana. Going to pass turn on that. Would like to get into a Port Town uh, or a uh, Spire of Industry. For the blue mana for Metallic Rebuke. Assuming a Harness Lightning here. So let's play out a Heart of Kirin. Yep. Three mana. Colors of the Rainbow. Let's see. Got a Toolcraft here. Let's get out a uh, scrap heap and see what happens. Get out a toolcraft. Probably gonna die to the uh, harness lightning or magma spray. What do you got for me? I trust that you'll have harness lightning. Nope. Okay. Interesting. He wants to harness. Okay. Strange that he wouldn't. I guess because he wanted the energy. Yep. Hit you for four. So you got four money. You can marvel for sure now. Don't have the energy to do it though. Passing turn, gotcha. Blue mana. Dang it. Need blue mana. <laughs> Let's get another scrap heap scrounger. So you can harness lightning for four on this heart here. So cause of Lux return. He still gets in. One more time. All right, I really need mana. That's going to be the crux of this. Going to play out Marvel early. Yep. Spire of Industry. Cool. Pass turn. I can get out a scrap heap. Could have done that, but I want to make sure I have a metallic rebuke up or a spell queller. 
I feel better about Spell Queller. Let's, um... Get that with a Spell Queller. He may have another one in hand anyway. Or Harness Lightning. Yep. He brought in the removal for sure. Mana. Dang it. If I had gotten mana, that would have been amazing. Because that way I could have Angel sanctioned his Aether Works Marvel. Pass turn. can just sack the Wood Weaver Puzzle Knot. Yep. And then just spin it. Spin the old wheel. Kozilek. It's going to kill the Thraven regardless, but... Yeah, he's going to have full hand. Kill my Thraven. Or not. I thought it would. A tune with Aether. Hard one matches. Let's see. Five mana. Yes, sir. Crew heart, attack for five. He may have another Aether Works in his hand. That's totally possible. Um, but it'll take him four mana to play that. And if he has another tune, he'll be able to swing, or not swing, but. Um, spin again so let's see, see what happens he could also harness lightning for four to get his eighth work marvel back but that would you know drain his uh energy yeah that's what he's gonna do yep luckily i can embalm this guy for six mm -hmm. so if i get another mana i can definitely uh deal with it the only problem now is I don't have the ability to negate or metallic rebuke something. So. Let's see. I can dispossess. Aether works marble. Hand of the Thought Knots here, so a Splicer and a Vitalist. So. It doesn't even have Ugolomog in his deck, which is great for me. Gotcha. That's it for me. I feel a lot better about this matchup now.
that he doesn't have Ulamog, because Ulamog is ridiculous, so. So now, basically, I just need to get rid of this Aetherworks Marvel that's, that's on board. Which is great. So, six, five, six, seven. I'll take three. Yep. Can't do anything about that. But I can um, counter his uh, Thought Knots here when he tries to play it, I believe. One, two, three, four. No, I can't. Deck on it. I can now. Unless he plays that land. <laughs> He's probably going to try and whiff again. <clears throat> Try to go for another Kozilek, which is perfectly reasonable. Yep, got a forest. Let's uh, just block. Yep. Let's get this Aetherworks Marvel. Once again, Let's see what happens off of it. He gets one spin, so Kozlik is what a twelve twelve with menace. Yeah, world breaker. Artifact, enchantment, or land. Yeah, he's going to kill heart. Ouch. Well, that was a big nothing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yep. Another disperser. Close matchup. Okay, so <clears throat> he's gonna swing out with the with both of them probably. <sighs> that is spell quality. This would have been nice. Basically, all I can do is make sure he doesn't do something else this turn. Yep. Ouch. Coming at me for eight. That's game. Very nice. Let's go to sideboard. Okay. Is that, it's a much bigger creature strategy than I would have thought. So let's go with um, that. Some stasis snares.
Throw in some fumigates. Take out some rebukes. Let's see, uh, sort this real quick. Let's keep the rebukes in. I want to keep them in. Take out a scrap heap. Take out a tool craft. Let's get rid of. Hmm. One spell queller and one fumigate. Just we want to keep one fumigate in. I definitely want to be able to um, board wipe if I can, if I'm if it's necessary to. So one mana hand. Hmm. Well, if I draw another mana, it's a pretty good hand. Hmm. The problem is that this is not Aether Hub, so let's mulligan. This is kind of a worse hand, but more workable. It works. It works better. That's that's where I'm at with this. Keep uh, Angel of Sanctions on bottom. Let's play out a Port Town, and then pass turn. We got removal going on here. Yep. Draw. Thraven Inspector. Pass turn. Let's see what happens here. Would like to be able to uh, have one more mana and a metallic rebuke, or one more mana and a spell queller. That would be nice. Yep, servant of the conduit. Ooh, fancy. If we can get into some more mana. Let's do that. Do this strategy. We got more mana, but we need black mana. So I need a Spire of Industry. Or an Aether Hub. So. Getting this early is good for us, but we definitely need to... Uh... Yep. Declaration of Stone looks a lot better now. So glad that happened. I will gladly take two damage. That sounds fine. Okay. Aether Hub. Dang it. Declaration's fine, though. Aether Hub or Concealed Courtyard. We're at four mana on his turn, so if he plays it, he plays it. Five energy. Doesn't do anything. Got to cast out. I'm going to cycle that. Art of Kieran. Looking for black mana. Cast out is also a good removal spell against, of course, Aetherworks Marble. Very little it, that they can hit. I'm just looking for a, uh, yeah, black mana so I can use Dispossess to get him out of the field, out of the deck, and out of the hand. Seven cards in his hand. I'm expecting it to come down this turn. If we had uh, cycled into some an Aether Hub, uh, that would have been amazing. So, would we repuzzle not? So he can't play it this turn. Concealed Courtyard is my answer. 
I just can't use it this turn. So we'll just have to find out what happens. It's gonna be close. <clears throat> yeah, definitely gonna get rid of Woodweaver Puzzle Knot at 11 energy, so you can spin as soon as uh, as soon as it hits. Six. I'm going to stasis snare that. Sweet. Okay. It works Marvel. World Breaker is also a threat, but Marvel is what makes this deck a hassle. I do not have enough for another declaration in stone, but that's fine. I'm just gonna swing out here. He can still come back and win because he definitely has big creatures and he has a lot of mana now, so he can still come back and do some damage. <clears throat> Just kind of uh, really glad that I was able to uh, get Marvel out of his deck before he could do some actual super damage, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and only having one uh, Aether Hub on the board right now uh, is actually really good for us. Oh, no, he's lost connection to the game. So give him just a sec, and he'll be right back probably. So hopefully. <laughs> there he goes. He's back. Cool. Whew, you're giving me a scare. We're in the middle of a, middle of a pretty hot game. Let's see what happens. Let's see. He's got enough, definitely. Does this add colorless? Or it only adds colorless. It doesn't add the diamond colorless. Um... Nah, I'm good. So if he plays World Breaker, he'll probably get rid of Heart of Kirin instead of my lands, which is fine. That's kind of the only thing I could think of that he could do this turn. Or he could just, yeah. Yep. Get World Breaker. Sounds right. Pick a heart of Kieran. If you hit a land, it would be really devastating. But yeah, you're going to hit a heart. It's fine. So I can just uh, Declaration in Stone. No big deal. Spire of Industry. Let me let's see one two three. So let's go with a declaration first, and then a heart of Kieran after that. Because what I assume is going to happen, he's going to draw into another big creature, and then I'll just fumigate. So you double block me. I'll kill one. Or he'll just take it. Cool. That sounds fine. Displacer. Okay. I definitely wanted to him to get out some other cards out of his hand. So, five cards in hand. You gonna swing out for two? Yeah. Good job. I'm going to definitely keep Fumigate in my hand for a little while. Um, let's see, he's got 11 energy, so he can tap for this to, uh, you know, flicker that. So, <clears throat> do I keep it in my hand for a while? Or do I just get rid of it? 
I feel like I just need to get rid of it because displacer is ridiculous. Excuse me. Five cards in hand, what you got? Yeah, I'll just pass turn now. Draw a card. Hmm. This is still gonna be a close match, even without um, yeah another brood monitor, even without Marvel, because this is an Eldrazi build. So it's gonna be really difficult to uh, kind of get on top of it with the current cards in my from my sideboard, because I'm I'm more looking to play against a uh, a regular matchup. Let's get a glory bound. Or a um, <laughs> scrap heap. No, it's glory bound. It's just silly. I'm going to keep up a spell queller for a displacer. Hit you for four. Go down to 18. You're going to hit me for six, though, so that's going to be pretty hard. Probably looking at Thought Knots here. Or a uh, displacer. Yep. Grab that displacer. Now, if he has a harness lightning in his hand, he gets it. Absolutely. Um, so let's see what happens. Probably. Yep. He definitely gets it. Yep. Really wish I had boarded in that second uh, fumigate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Hit me for six. Oh, sweet jubilation. Get that displacer out of here. Or is it Menace? Play Glory Bound and then swing in for four again. <sighs> That's fine, no problem. Okay, so whenever I animate Heart of Kieran, if he has um, there's a World Breaker. Yeah, he's got Heart of Kieran on on the on there. Let's see, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he's gonna get. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> sure. only have one mana though so he can't flicker but he can do that Wow three four five six seven yep well that helps um, But I feel like I'm just dead. <laughs> All right, let's go to combat and let's gain some life. Because he can flicker one thing. If he flickers the heart, then I'm fine. Yep. Let's 
He'll just block with World Breaker, no big deal. But this gives me another turn. All right, so we're at six, 11, 12 damage right there. I think that's still game, right? Yeah, that's game. Wow. What an interesting build for a Marvel deck. Yep. I mean, you didn't have to do that. You could have just done Eldra's Displacer. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I can I can reanimate a Scrap Heap here, but, it, I mean, it wouldn't do anything. But that is crazy. Great build. I really like that build. Huh. Yeah, you'll give me fair and square. There you go. <laughs> and there you go. That's the first loss. I actually got Marvel out of the way. Um... But that was an Eldrazi Marvel build. So that was really interesting to uh, play against. I've never really played against a build like that. Um, still, because it, it's still like it's aggressive, but it's also like able to throw out like your Kozilek, or your giant creatures, but also be able to board wipe. So and go wide. That was crazy. I like that build a lot. That's that's really cool. But like the video if you liked it. I'll leave a comment below what you thought of the deck. If I had any misplays, be sure to point them out below. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to MPG Trades for more videos in the future. And remember, preview season is coming up, so I will be doing some preview coverage uh, whenever the cards start leaking properly. Um, but yeah, uh, appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.